Introducing the all new Corolla. Our oversight chair has once again inferred that there's somehow some improper process. Um, we did this to be transparent. We announced the process also to be transparent. I think just because someone makes an accusation in this particular case, and it's unfortunate that it happens to be our oversight chair, who very easily could have picked up the phone if he had questions with regards to how or why this is being done. Port Authority of Guam General Manager Joanne Brown is miffed by comments from the port's oversight chair, Senator Tom Atta challenging a request for quotation issued by the port last week. The request is for an emergency procurement to purchase three generators, two of which Brown says are critically needed for Load Center 4. The port has been aware of the situation since at least May of last year, when the power in LC4 went down and the backup generator failed as well. An emergency procurement for the generators was requested then, but the General Services Agency said it'd have to be done through the regular procurement process. That, however, came to a stall, Brown says, before the invitation for bid officially went out, because GSA claims a vendor threatened to protest the bid. Um, you know, I understand vendors may have competing interests, and that's perfectly fine, that's how the market works, but I don't think that should be the basis under which a bid doesn't move forward, especially uh, with something that is so critically needed as generators. I mean, we can't let those dynamics be what drive the process. So here we are eight months after the fact. Eight months after the fact, when if ha we had moved forward at the time, we would have had these generators installed and operating. But Senator Adda says the procurement process exists for a reason. And while emergency procurements can get us the services and equipment that's needed quickly, they do so at the sacrifice of fair competition. I'm concerned that if we're going out on emergency procurement for uh, two generators that's going to cost a total of $867,000 on an emergency procurement basis that we may not be uh, availing ourselves of the most competitive prices that are available out there. Brown says Senator Adda's comments are moving the discussion away from the real issue which is that only one backup generator would stay on if power went out today. And that, she says, is only enough to keep the refrigerated containers at the port cool. And so that we would be able to do right now, assuming that that generator stays operational. But the rest of the port, I mean, 80 percent of the rest of the port would not be operating, including this office. It's not so much because we're in it, but all the transactions that need to be made, our computers, um, recording all our, um, you know, transactions that are needed with our vendors that are here, our customers here at the port, we would not be able to operate. According to Brown, a power outage at this time would also compromise the port's ability to carry out local and federal security requirements. Senator Adda, however, says that if that's the issue, the emergency procurement shouldn't be for the purchase of generators, but for the use of services to stay in operation. So it seems that in, if, if that is in fact the emergency, that what we should be procuring immediately should be services, standby generation services that will be available um, at the, you know, at the picking up of a telephone call. Uh, but otherwise, just to use the emergency procurement to buy the equipment, um, which at, at least last year, nobody had it on island. Uh, and even in their procurement documents, it said that that you know they didn't they they wanted it within 120 days because they were aware that it wasn't readily available